Round one. What? Some pioneer. All right. Do we share a starting seven? Nah. No. Okay. Planes. Inspector, go. Uh oh. Investigate. Okay. Uh, we will play a hive and say pass. What does a hive do again? Uh, enters tapped unless you can, if you control two or more. It is a swamp, and I can pay four to make him a three-three with menace, and I exile something from your graveyard. Perfect. Go to combat. Yep. Let's make for one. We'll tap the hive, and I will push the inspector. Get pushed. <laughs> this is very sad for the inspector. Let's see, ya, inspector. And Joe, Seed of the Empire. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I thought I might regret that push. I have more fun when my opponents don't get to play any cards. <laughs> Non-creature non -creature spells. Spell. So creature spells are still actual cards. Creature spells are fine. All right, cool. We'll tap two, play the Blood Tide. Yep. He makes a blood token. He does. And then I pass to you, sir. Tap. Draw. Dunes. That is a 3 2. He is, yep. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing for two, first strike. I will take two. Go to 18. Perfect. Uh, second main phase. Spectre 2. Alright. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Or if you were, I have two, so it comes in all untapped. Good. I will sack the blood tithe to give the Thalia neck two, neck two. I will attempt to anyway. Yeah. Checks out. I don't actually have anything. All right. <laughs> I'm playing a mono white deck. I don't, I don't get it. It's the reaction. <laughs> Uh, then we tap three and play a Lily. Hi, Lily. And we will down tick her to target player sack twice creature. We will target you. Because that only makes sense. That does kind of make sense. She goes to one, and then I pass to you. End of your turn. I'm going to sack a clue to draw a card. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. Draw. Cards in hand. Three. We uptick the lily. Both of us discard a card? Yep. Discarding a castle. Discarding an elite spellbinder. Okay. And then I tap four. And cast shelter. My favorite. <laughs> and then I Pass to you. Under your turn, Seth. Clue, I take two. Yep, 18. Sorry, thank you. You're good. Untap, draw, I take two. Yeah, Shieldrick just kind of wins. <laughs> it's just kind of, kind of ridiculous. Honestly, it won't surprise me if she gets banned. And I really don't know what they were thinking when they were like, yeah, this is a fair and balanced card. <laughs> it should have been a 4 4. It would have made so much more sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. or, or without the death touch. I mean, you, like, you, you just one thing Everything away. together. Yeah. For four mana. Yeah. Spellbinder two. Okay. So I get to see your hand, and I exile a non-land card from it. That card will cost two more to cast. Mm -hmm. Two 
Dark Aspirant. Mm hmm. Go to combat. Okay. Counter on Spellbinder. Go ahead. Mm hmm. All right. I will leave that down for you. You gain two. Gain two. Thanks. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> Creature spells. Does cracking a token no. count as a non-creature spell? No, you're good. That's just an ability. Okay. What does a token do? Um, discard a card, draw a card. Yeah, that's a good token. It's no clue, though. It's no clue, that's for sure. Um, yeah. I think we... the two. We fatal push the Thalia. We. And then we pay the other two. We play the Croxa. Uh, he comes out, you discard a card if it's a land. It's not a land. I believe it's if it's a land you lose three life. He goes into the graveyard. Uh, and then we will... So he's a 4-2? Yes. 4-2 with flying. I do have a card in this deck that might save me, but the odds of drawing it are about zero, so... <laughs> um, I think I will just uptick Lily. We'll each discard a card. We have no cards. And then... Um, well, he has flying, doesn't he? So nice. you're just going to kill me anyway. So I might as well... Let's just down ticker then to sack a creature. Asprey. Throw her over there. Four two. Swing for four. Twelve. Take go. Ten. <laughs> it's not the card that saves me. <laughs> I'm gonna tap and then activate him. Okay. I'll use a ten. Okay. Two, one. Okay, plus one, plus one counter on each other human you control. Yep. Checks out. And I'm gonna pass and hope you don't kill my spellbinder. Because if you do, then I. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Untap. Draw. Go to twenty-two. No cards on hand. No cards on hand. Two lands up. Can't really do anything with them though. I can activate my Moodle Ball. <laughs> um, I think we pay the one, sack the blood token. Oh no, we don't need to do that. Let's rewind here. We can... Black, black, red, red. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we can play the... The other very fair and balanced card. Yeah, so to have the four, we exile these five. I discard a card. Yep. But you have no cards. No cards. So you take three damage. Oh, so it's not... Okay. Yeah. I thought it was only if you discarded a land. Uh, if you didn't discard a non-land... I know on an arena it just smacks him for three, so I assume that's how it's played, but I haven't really played against him. Can I read it? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, no. Or, you know, whatever this Yeah, okay. I lose three. Cool. Um, and then I think I just pass. Untap. Take two. Draw. More Thalia. <laughs> Doing the Lord's work. Yeah. Go ahead. And tap. I'd like to go first in game two. Uh, this comes in tapped. So it's big we... Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> yeah, you don't control a swamp. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I know. Now we sack the one, we pay. Sack the blood token. Draw a card. Gain it some life. I don't know if I gained the other two. I don't think you did. I'm pretty sure you're at 26. Yeah. So, the plan is, in a few years, and I told her what happened to that. I already played the land. No cards in your hand. Nope. I think that I just swing. 
Because we do have some dents. Here? He doesn't have trample. Doesn't have trample. I'm gonna throw Thali at him. Yeah. He will do three damage because you don't have a card to discard. Oh, I have to discard when I when you attack? Yeah, that's when he attacks too. And his Battlefield right. or attacks. I'll scoop on that because he can't okay. draw any cards. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty... This deck is, like, Shieldred's in this deck. Um, but Croxa is really, like, the one that... Shieldred holds it down while waiting for Croxa to show up. Yeah. Sometimes it's the other way around, but... Yeah, he's just a big beast. And if I'm not winning by turn five or six, then it's pretty over for me already. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do like the discard sub theme you've got going though. So this is, that's what this is, is a Racto shell with like heavy discard sub, sub theme. Not to give the whole uh, thing away, but. I mean, you already know everything <laughs> I'm doing. I'm, I'm white green. Yeah, I know. played against white humans a couple times. The whole reason it is because it's the cheapest pioneer deck. Oh, nice. And it zings. The, it's um, fun. The Slesnia Orz deck is also really, I think, similar uh, price wise. Yeah, so part of it was like 90% of this deck was art was actually part of a pre-made shell Wizards made. Oh, nice, nice. So I bought that, then bought some upgrades. Uh, oh, he'll roll. Yeah. They don't want to enjoy our sideboarding. <laughs> I think he leaves it in. Probably too much work to edit it out. This is not fantastic content. <laughs> mm. Quick, got any good jokes? <laughs> uh, what do you call an orca that makes music? Don't know. An orchestra. <laughs> there. <laughs> 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 what are the other two? There's two more in here that I don't need. And I believe their names are... formats? No, I haven't been. Not even Commander? Oh, I do play Commander, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I have too many Commander decks. Uh, usually it's one or the other. I've been trying to go every other Friday between here and, and Commander, but it's mostly just been here. Wow. Commander is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've been working on my Brea deck. Nice. Which is like not the greatest commander on Earth, but she's fun casually. Yeah. I got on a mission of creating a all mono like one of each mono color deck because I just had a bunch of random pieces, you know. So yeah. I was like, well, I can make like seventy five percent of a deck and, it and then buy a couple all the things. Mana base. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because you can really like my five color dragons. The mana base is absolutely insane. It's like I don't know thousands of dollars, you know. Yeah. Like I spared no expense on that one. I got a bunch of like OG duels and. It's my, my fancy deck. No, I don't have duels. I have shocks and some fashes. Yeah. Work about the same. You're going first. Yes. 
Good luck. Thank you. All right. I think I'm gonna keep. Yeah. I don't need lands. Lands are for losers. <laughs> This thing has like 24, 25 lands or something, and uh, I think it was during the championship night I had like two hands where I drew one land. I think I'm running 23. Yeah, I mean, for for that deck that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the four of them are vault, so that has to be considered. Mm -hmm. I love Mutavault in monocolored stuff, though. Like my mono black zombies. Mm -hmm. Well, great. It does so much work in this deck. Yeah. Like it doesn't feel like it should, but <laughs> if you want to put counters on it, there's so many ways to put counters on it. Yeah. And like it doesn't really cost anything. Yeah, the only thing you're giving up is uh it'd be a planes. A planes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you already have like I've got enough of those. Or if you have a lot of stuff that's just one plus plus the color, like it's easy to I don't think I have any double white. Yeah. If you don't have any double white, I mean it's great then. Uh, yeah, I'll do this one with this guy on the bottom. That's how it's going. Well, okay. Yeah. Just a T1. Uh, we'll just play a two or fewer. Okay. And pass. How many times have I made that? Combat? A lot. Yep. Swing for two. Take two, go to eight. Yeah. Um, let's take three. Guard hurting him? Mm hmm. Go ahead. There's Malfield. She's a two different Yeah, I think we'll push the bodyguard. We. Untap, draw. Play a swamp. Uh, tap the two, play a croc. Ah, yay. How about we discard a Brave the Elements? All right. Uh, two. Go to combat. Mm -hmm. Go to 16. Soldier of the Pantheon. Mm -hmm. Picture from multicolored. When an opponent casts a multicolored spell, you gain one life. Go ahead. All right. Uh, look, I'm running on one planes here. You. <laughs> Three cards in hand. Three cards. Yeah. Uh, land with a basic type. Yeah. Yes. Card. A land card with a basic land type. Flip this to red. And then we pay three. Red, black, black, play Demogorg. So you discard two, oh, mill two, yeah, lose two. Point, oh, yeah, that's true. There's a lot of text. There is. Yes. Yes. Discard two, uh, mill two. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> lose. No, I passed you. This is a riveting game. Go was, to combat. Was there three lands in a row? No, <laughs> four. I gotta go to twelve. It was three lands in a row. I know. <laughs> Thing is, I, I, I would have been just fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. That didn't hit any. One card in hand. One card. One measly little baby card. Okay. Make me discard it. Play. Just tap four and play the shield red. Yep. Go fast you. Declaration of Stone, your shielded. Mm hmm. Exiles it, and you play. All right. Exile target creature, and all other creatures is control controlled at the same name. Uh, player investigates. So, so he's just, she's just gone. She's gone. Bye bye. Go to combat. Yep. Swing for four. Take two. Eight. Castle Arvindale. Go ahead. I mean, I guess I can block, right? Untap. Draw. No cards in hand. No cards. You made me discard them all. <laughs> Oops. Can okay, I read the castle? Let's see. Let's see if you can pay four and do something. Pay four to make you human. Okay. Don't think it'll come up. Uh, 
think a so red, red, black would play Brotherhood's End, and we deal three damage to each creature. Spin six. And it was the next card to be. I think I just. Black, black. Pay the two, crack the clue, draw a card. I would have had had the guy too. So I would have had the guy. Dang. Dang. Go ahead. So I got sideboard cards for me, is that what you said? I I bought a single. uh, Crafting stage. Fable. Okay. It's like I'm reading this card. I don't have it. Sure. <laughs> it's like the wrong card. <laughs> Treasure Goblin. Yeah. The overpriced yeah. Goblin token. <laughs> How much is that Goblin token? <laughs> like 20 bucks or something. God, it's more expensive than the card. <laughs> I know. Um, we pay two red black, make it a blood tithe. Here's your clue back. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you want it to do. Blood token, where did it go? But now we want it to do it. <laughs> <laughs> nice! Yeah. So I like that. Good. And we say go. That. Didn't think that through before I had the It's like go ahead. Okay. It's like if you don't play the deck at all, you don't know how it works. Like on paper, you know how it works. Yeah. But until you actually play it, you don't actually yeah. know how it works. Yeah, it's like the, uh, what is the... Narset. Right back, Croxa. Yeah, Discard a non-land card. Yep. Checks out. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Oh, this goes to two. Like, draw Shoot. Cards. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna draw all the cards. This would be awesome. Too late. Yeah, this That's okay. No shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> I guess we just go ahead and pay another two, play another Croxa, so that'll smack you for three. And then we. Swing with both of those guys. Puts me down to seven? No, eight. Yeah, eight. I think I've grown past the Make a treasure. And then I think we just go ahead and pay the one. Sack the token. We discard a card. We draw a card. I'm already concede because the next card's a plane. Alright. Wanna play just for fun? Yeah, that's cool. I was really debating when to play this one. I I sideboarded that in. I I sideboarded this card in. Every time I play against something, go wide. I never yeah, draw it. It's the first time I've ever drawn it. Because the only counter I have to 